How embarrassing, having my life saved by a knight. Don't forget what you promised, or that thing will be the least of your worries. Hey, is this how the Knights of Favonius treats the people they catch? <laughs> I'm just joking. Sir! Yes, sir! Uh, Captain, should we take these two in as well? Uh, what? <laughs> of course not. Without them spreading our fabricated intel, we wouldn't have been... All right, all right, stop it already. Though the treasure doesn't exist, you did want it for yourself, didn't you? Otherwise, you would have informed me of your intentions, no? That? Well, uh, let's go. Hi, my. <laughs> Just a sec. You did help me out, so you do deserve. This is the triumphant harbinger of dawn that points towards victory. If you don't mind, I would like to present you with this Harbinger of Dawn as a reward. Harbinger of Dawn? That's right. Well, if the reward is this Harbinger of Dawn... You'd forgive me, right? I'm honored to have such an understanding friend. Yes, yes. You have my apologies for the deception. I will not use the same method twice. What a wonderful day. Now, I have to go interrogate my suspect. Please excuse me. Do come visit me at our headquarters when you have the chance.
Traveler, I've been looking for you everywhere. How's that wind glider I gave you last time? <laughs> Seems like it's really growing on you. But then again, you don't have a gliding license, do you? A gliding license? Hmm, what's that? <sighs> Isn't it obvious? Oh, but we've been gliding for ages now. Yeah, you've been gliding all over the place. Everyone... <laughs> 
So, you came looking for us because you want to give us a gliding license? No way! The Knights of Favonius have strict rules. You need to pass an exam, and only then will the Knights issue your license. Today, I'm here as an examiner to oversee your official gliding exam. I gave you your wing glider, so this... An exam?! <sighs> what a pain in the butt! I'm sure you'll glide through it. I mean, the whole city saw how well you flew the day that Storm Terror attacked, so I'm sure you'll have no problems. But we do need to respect the rules and glide properly. Here, take this gliding manual. No, for example, only one person per wing glider. No, anyway, be sure to read it, okay? I had to read. Wow, that's a big old book! Paimon, thank you. Great, come find me when you're done. I'll be at Windrise. <sighs> the night. When the first wisp of wind brushed across the land, birds that yearned for the sky had wings, but no way to fly. They asked the animal god, How can we reach the heavens? To which the animal god replied, you have yet to find that which is most important. As the god spoke, the wind thrust the seeds of a dandelion high into the sky. The birds thrust out their wings, but the breeze was all too mild, leaving them to stumble across the earth. So they went to the gorge, where the wind showed off its wild and incomparable strength. They threw themselves off the cliff and flapped their wings amongst the howling winds until they were able to fly freely in the sky. To the animal god they went to gleefully say, We understand now. All we needed was a stronger wind to fly. In reply, the animal god said, What you lacked was not wind, but courage. It is courage that has allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Hmm, that's a cool story. But is the knight's gliding manual really written in that style? Huh, anyway... Here. Did you have a good sounds like it was a real drag? I would know. I've been there. Ugh, the gliding manual is super dry. Really? Hmm. 
cool stories? Uh, some of them I like. My f Apparently, if you pop an animal slime and take off in the burst of wind, it shoots you up really, really high. No, not that story. Pu uh, what? Let me take a look. Oh, shoot. Oops, sorry. How in the heck do you comp- Uh, it's because what you lack reading that? Uh, don't. Okay, then. You just need to f 